All right, we live. All right, Shalom, 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 Shalom. With the brothers here from GMS Atlanta, uh, coming with the lesson through the Spirit Power Yahweh Bashmi Shah. Before we get started, we want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Kakadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who lead, teach, and rule well. Love and honor to all I can push the word in true faith and succeed across the four corners. Shalom to you, sincere listeners who listen and subscribe to the men and Dr. Great Millstone. Like I said, uh, we're a few buzz here from G Messing Land Church. Um, you know, we're just uh talking briefly about you know current events, things that are going on um around the world and also in America. And uh, one topic that we wanted to touch on that we just uh, you know took a, a notice of uh, you know recently is 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 how Esau Edom is dealing with the homeless throughout this uh coronavirus COVID 19 so called crisis. Uh, so we're gonna um. Uh, you know, bring out a couple articles, get into a, a, a few key points of Esau Edom's agenda. And, uh, you know, of course, do what we do, uh, tie it to the, the scriptures of the scriptures uh, of the Holy Bible. So, uh, Russ, have any uh, things to open up with or any opening remarks? La, la, la. Okay, so, um, I know you, you can share my screen once I, uh, All right. <clears throat> yeah, sure. But um, yeah, we go. I'm just waiting for the load. Now I was trying to. Okay, okay. So we have an article. Um, give me one second to load. We have an article here from uh, <clears throat> Popular Science. A website which is hopside.com and it was written uh yesterday april 2nd 2020 the year of prophecy and it's entitled homeless populations are among america's most vulnerable to the coronavirus people experiencing homelessness are more likely to catch the virus and experience complications from it because uh you know as as um has been brought out over the last few weeks uh this coronavirus is uh, effects has a greater effect and is more is more um, uh, likely to really do grave uh, grave hard damage to a uh, certain uh, sex of the population, including uh, uh, the elderly and those with uh, pre-existing conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, of course, the homeless, you know, you know, people who you know have no real shelter and protection, you know, they're pretty much just out there and exposed to the elements. Uh, but there anything? I got some. <clears throat> this is Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. So, um, you know, when the elect under Yahweh Shai, you know, King David, you know, the 12 apostles and the rest of the 144,000 are in the kingdom, even the heathens are going to be happy, man. Mm -hmm. All right. It's not going to be any homeless people running the streets, man. All right. Especially if you're an uh, uh, Israelite, man. All right, but now here in Esau's kingdom, you got homeless people in the suburb. Like I just told the brother, I was doing some errands day to day, and there's a shopping mart where me and his brother stay at. You even got homeless people in the suburbs, man. Homeless people just coming out out, out the woodworks, man. So this is definitely uh, not the kingdom to be in, man. If, especially with Esau, man, you see a lot more uh, Edomites that are homeless coming off the freeway. You drive off the freeway, you see Edomites. Uh, you know, can I have uh, um, at begging for money or whatnot? You know, this goes to show you that this kingdom is, is corrupt, man. Because there's homeless people here. You should not be homeless if you're you if you're if you're an Edomite, man. You know, but Esau doesn't give a damn about his people, man. And you, like I said, little by little, it's not it's not just a city thing. It's it's coming to your suburbs. The, these little cities that you live in, homeless people are there. Yeah. All right, you have anything? Yeah, I got some. Uh, and another thing too, man. Uh, the majority of of these homeless uh, in America, they served their country at one point. That goes to show you how. Uh, how could could y'all hear me? Yeah, you go. Okay. Man, Esau even those that so called uh, serve their country, sure. they make up a big population of the homeless 
Now, uh, that's grievous uh, to the Lord, man. It tells you right here in Sirach, the 26th chapter, yeah, uh, the 28th verse. Yeah. It say, uh, there be two things that grieve my heart, and the third make of me angry. A man of war that suffer poverty, that's the point. Hey, a man of war that suffer poverty, there shouldn't be a man of war that uh, suffer poverty. They should be taken care of. Mm -hmm. uh by the by the nation or the country that they represent and that goes to show you um how broken down uh this so-called kingdom is like the uh brother and i was saying um he was saying it, it, it don't supposed to be no damn uh homeless uh, uh edomites and how when the wicked are in rule the people mourn but when the rights righteous are in authority uh the people rejoice and and that's the way uh Things should be all right uh just finishing off the uh, verse it says a man of understanding that are not set by and one that returneth from righteousness to sin the lord prepare such such a one for the sword hey, it comes you went back to my screen yeah went back to your screen okay con yeah hey 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 con bro the water you had any more on that that was it Okay, kind. So let's continue on in the article. Uh, if you brought guy thing, uh, as I read, you know, this type of uh, code in there. Uh, continue on the article, it says, more than half a million people living in the United States are experiencing homelessness. So that's that's five that's 500,000 people right there, man. It says, every one of them is at a dramatically increased risk in this pandemic. This is true across the, bro across the board. They're more likely to catch the virus, to experience complications, complications, and to die from it. See, mm -hmm. it says they're more likely to catch the virus. So they're more likely to actually, uh, you know, come in contact with and, you know, uh, obtain the virus to experience complications. So they have other things, conditions that actually uh, affect or are affected by, you know, them having the virus and to die from it. So they're more likely as well to also perish and eventually die from this virus as well. Yeah, because to ask your point, these hospitals, <clears throat> especially these local county hospitals, man, there's a local county hospital here in Atlanta. I'm not going to name no names, but okay. Shit, name it. All right, Grady Hospital in Atlanta, <laughs> Georgia, man. <laughs> All right, Grady Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, man. From my experience working there, they, they take homeless people. They take them in. All right, these are the same people you see on the train, on the bus, that staggering, they on a strong drink, they, they bugged out, but they take them into these hospitals and check and check them out. And then at the back of the hospital where they, they, they get the ambulance at, they have this like tent city in the back. So, you know, I you know, my cert my my time working there, I tried to ask um hey Shalom, I, I try to ask people, hey, what's going on back there? You know, Jake, security guard, they can't give me no answers, but they would take these people. They were people. They, they were literally people uh, across the street on the Georgia State property of this hospital, and basically they would be here today, gone tomorrow, and then tomorrow they would be back on the streets. So they would take these people, and they were doing something to them. I can't really call it, but they would take these people, do some type of experiment, like like that movie Venom, man, where they was taking people uh out of nowhere and experiments and experiment with them man so esau is doing something to these homeless people man and it was a report years ago uh back in north carolina that they were giving uh these homeless people the rfid chip which is the mark of the beast mm -hmm. kind of kind of. uh just continuing on the article uh let's make it a little bigger it says as COVID. oh no uh go up a little bit it says this oh uh, it says the scope of the interventions needed to make sure this doesn't happen is difficult to fully define but experts say the need is immediate and and likely to get larger as we weather this crisis and the economic downturn that comes with it see that's another thing as well that's like mike uh, hold that james uh five the um the economic downturn that's coming along with this uh crisis man okay because the way in which a government deals with the the most downtrodden the most down and out of their society is a a, a big reflection of the ability that the that, that government has to actually care and tend for their masses and for their population read that james 
Up from the top. Okay, you read from the top. All right, this is James 5 and 1. Go to now, you rich men, weep, and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Right, it says, go ye uh, uh, howl and weep for the miseries that shall come upon you. Because, like I said, um, the way in which a government or, you know, rulers or a, a king, you know, in which they actually care for the most, uh, the down and out, downtrodden, really the most <laughs> overlooked and undercared for individuals in their kingdom, is a big reflection of the ability of that kingdom to actually care for the masses of their population. So, so you, really do, you, don't, come on, bro. you really don't want a bunch of, um, you know, homeless people. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about, too, with the uh, whole concept of globalism and, and global and worldwide travel, even though things are being shut down right now, we don't know how long it's going to be shut down. It might, you know, eventually, you know, open back up. We don't really know how it's going to play out in the long run. But the you know the whole concept and idea of a uh, um, globalization and the inter and the and the ability for these different countries to be uh, 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 connected you know be intercontinental so to speak you know what I'm saying is a big thing you know what I'm saying but in, uh, and with that uh, globalization and that connectivity that's all that's all what uh, 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 connections transactions and uh, uh, and ultimately commerce it's an economy go ahead. Verse two, your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eaten. Yeah, your riches are corrupted, okay, because <laughs> this whole system in which you have access to uh, uh, other countries for trade, for resources, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the goods that uh, most of the goods that Americans purchase in their in their uh, local and uh, nationwide stores come from uh, other countries. They're outsourced. They're uh, manufactured in other countries, shipped to America, and they're consumed by the American masses. Because Esau Edom has constructed a system through uh, the Federal Reserve uh, Bank, through a fractional reserve lending, in which uh, he's uh, uh, inflated and propped up this economy, but it's all on, uh, it's a, a faulty uh, 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 measure and whatnot. That's right. Go ahead. Verse three, your gold and silver is cankered, mm -hmm. and the rust of them shall be a witness against you. Your, the, uh, the gold and silver is cankered, man. I mean, it's no longer pure. Mm -hmm. Mean that the uh, United States came off of the gold standard, okay, and uh, the 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 money is uh, is pretty much uh, you know backed by oil, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's the uh, what's the, what's the word for it again? Um, the currency being backed by oil, uh, pet petrol dollar. dollar. It's, a, it's a petrol dollar system in which <clears throat> you know the dollar is pretty much backed by the trade of a resource, but that resource it doesn't. It's not. It, it doesn't. Uh, Stay and remain, you know. What I'm saying gold, pretty much, you, you 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 get it, you harness it, you process it, you purify it, you dial uh, the purity of it, and you stock it up. Like it does have uses, you know. What I'm saying you can actually use it, but the main the main uh, purpose and the, the the main reason of creation of gold and precious uh, uh, metals and things of that nature is to serve as money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But Esau. Through his uh, lies, treachery, and deceit, has created a system propped up and inflated, but it's all it's all fake and phony, which is uh, canker and corrupt. A rock, you got anything? Fly. You keep reading, bro. <clears throat> all right, James five and three. Your gold and silver is cankered, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. And that's a witness against this devil, man. That's a witness against this devil that his system is uh, falling apart because you know. Here it is, <laughs> the most high, how about you, how shy, hit America with a little plague, a little corona. Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it damn near brought Esau even system down to his knees, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Continuing on, it says, and shall eat your flesh as if it were fire. You have heaped treasure together for the last days. Yeah, and ultimately, it's going to all <laughs> end the, 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 the end, the punchline of this comedy of a kingdom known as America is going to be destruction by ICBM thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. That's where Yahweh his saints, the, the elect in which we are, you know, call ourselves the hopeful elect because we, we you know, we're watching as well as praying and doing our best to uh, make our bodies and our service a living sacrifice before Yahweh Shai. But the ultimate punchline for this kingdom is going to be destruction. That's right. Is that you know, I'm getting a nice hearty laugh in that day? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Anybody got anything? 
yeah, I just wanted to make a, a quick point. Um, here it is. America is under a stay at home shelter. Stay at home. So what does that mean for the homeless? OK, they they they're not considering uh, that part of the population because they feel that they're expendable. Right. So they're setting up stipulations in which those that have homes and, and, and money to buy goods and things of that nature, they're worried about them to a point where the homeless has really become forgotten. And those mm -hmm. are probably going to be the most cases that that they get because they can't practice social distancing. You know, they can't go in a home mm -hmm. and, and, and shelter themselves from the elements. Uh, this is uh, Sirach 4. And chapter four, it says, reject not the supplication of the afflicted, neither turn away thy face from from the poor man. And that's what America is doing in a time in which the poor man, you know, speaking uh, physically or carnally poor, <clears throat> needs them the most, you know, they're, they're, they're throwing them to the damn fire, man. Yeah. And, and, uh, that's all, and that's all. You know, according to uh, Esau's plan, which we're going to get into uh, later on in the lesson. Right. Yes. Yeah, so like it, man, if I could mention too, you know, um, Americans are about one paycheck away from being homeless, man. Exactly. So we're not talking about just the guy that's just, you know, asking for a dollar and he ain't sh he ain't shit. Well, not shit, but he ain't took a bath and, and weeks. We're talking about the average Amer American family because you got a lot of Americans that are living. And uh, they vans or they cars. All right, let's not forget about those people as well. It ain't just the guy that's just asking for a dollar fifty cents. It's some families that's out here too, uh, in America as well, man. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, those those uh like, those Americans that are doing Uber and living out their car. Those ooh, people are hurt right now, man. Yeah, yeah. You know, they're not being considered in a time like this. That's that's true, bro, because, um, you know, especially in certain areas in certain cities like Las Vegas, Las Vegas has a very uh, big gig economy based off of tourism of people coming to uh, Las Vegas, man. Mm -hmm. So you got some people who actually make a good living just being an Uber or a Lyft driver or doing Postmates or doing these app based uh, businesses or app based gigs because of the nature of that economy is just constantly churning. But all you got to do is get a little piece of that of that pie, you know. And uh, like I, and like we said, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah just through this one play, but this allowed this one play to touch uh, America, and it threw a big wrench in this whole system. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm gonna get into a little bit of uh, the, Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones, in which I know a lot of uh, brothers uh, are familiar with with this uh, this monument. Uh, but I just want to bring it out for those who may not be familiar with it. Um, so this right here, we're, we're on Wikipedia.org. Let's cross it down. Shalom, Michael. Hey, Shalom, Michael. Hey, Shalom, Michael. Hey, Shalom, Michael. I don't know who Michael Kuhn is. It could be correct. Yeah, God. Bro, like, you might have to mute your mic until you're going to say something. Sound better? That sounds better. I bet. So this is just uh, from wikipedia.org. Like I said, going into Georgia Guidestones, it says the Georgia Guidestones are a granite monument erected in 1980 in Elbert County, County, Georgia, in the United States. A set of 10 guidelines is, is inscribed on a structure in eight modern languages, and a shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient scripts. So I was gonna scroll down uh, to the main point here. So this was, uh, it looks like, erected in 1980, mm -hmm. which is, uh, what, about 40 years ago? <clears throat> yep. But going into the description, the description, which is going into the inscriptions, it says a message consisting of a set of 10 guidelines or principles is engraved on the Georgia Guidestones in eight different languages. One language on each face of the four large upright stones Moving clockwise around the structure from due north, these languages are English, Spanish, Swahili, Hindu, Hebrew, Arabic, traditional Chinese, and Russian. So these pretty much are the, the, the languages they say don't you know, last, mm -hmm. you know, because it's important enough for them to uh, inscribe those languages on this monument. But the first of the 10 that we think that guidelines and principles is number one, 
maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. So they're telling you right now that they want to eradicate uh, an estimate, a estimated uh, six uh, what billion people. That's right. Well, that, that they estimate that there's over seven, roughly about seven billion people on Earth. So they said that they want to just go ahead and just you know top that number on down, you know, 500 million, you know. Um, real quick, let me grab this precept. This is um, this is from the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse five. It says, "Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring peace upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction." For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. See, and that's what and that's what's uh what's going on. See, Esau Edom, you know, with how by she how God opening up the Holy Spirit to particular men on earth, you know. Um, and especially in the last 10, 15, 20 years, a lot of truth has just hit uh, you know. The airwaves, so to speak, just you know, a lot of things with uh, you know, it may not necessarily be just particularly you know, come through the men and messengers of Yahweh, you know, of elect, but just the spirit of truth is more heavy and more prevalent on earth. And with even this is this is a truth of you know, the 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 so called uh, Illuminati, the, the you know, the elite banking families. Of the nation of Esau Edom, if they want to, you know, a part of their new world order agenda is to depopulate the world to uh, roughly 500 million people. Right. Does anyone have anything to add? Um, I got a precept right here. Um, this is uh, Second Ezra uh, 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection of those that fear the Lord. They should be like madmen sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the golden fire. So Esau's not going to spare, man. All right. Just of course, uh, a lot of Jakes that fit Israelites, but you're not following the right doctrine. Man. It's, it's imperative to follow the right doctrine. And to get it while the getting is good, man, because the doors of repentance is like shutting like real close, man. Esau's about to make it move. You know, here in Georgia, got a uh today was like the curfew for uh, a mandatory shelter in place for the whole state of Georgia. And by six o'clock, you're supposed to be in your homes. Who knows what Esau's doing right now, man? Yeah. You know, it takes a uh, troop and tanks uh throughout the city, man. So you never know what's going on with this devil, man. He this is his last hoorah, man. You know? Yeah. And this, I just want to make a quick point. And then also, Esau Edom has ways to track the, these people, man. Mm -hmm. Even um, uh, there was an Android alert that came out the other day, yeah. you know, to, to phones. Yeah. And I said, man, I have a phone that has no internet service. Mm -hmm. No internet yeah. service, wasn't connected to Wi Fi. And it still hit that phone. The Android alert still hit that phone. So yeah. Esau got a way to just track everybody. Like everybody's so connected to these phones and devices that that's pretty much your your own body tracking device. But it's like you can get to a point that for people who uh, uh, are untrackable yeah. or you know it's just bucking against the system and the movement of Esau Esau movement, unless you protect protected by the spirit and mercy and grace of Yahweh Bashim House God. He's gonna just roll over you, man, because he don't give a damn about you. He plans on killing the majority of the masses of people on earth. Okay. I got a quick precept for you. Okay. Um, uh this is Proverbs chapter four and verse sixteen. It says, For they sleep not, except they have done mischief mm -hmm. or mischief. That's a good one. Huh? Their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to rest. So mm -hmm. uh like the brothers going in into uh you know, basically, you know, Esau's plan, you know, they've been working on this since the beginning of their rulership, man. You know, and, you know, it's come, it's come out, you know, that the, the man of the Lord is basically revealing their plan, you know, and basically, you know, uh, whether we know, you know, exactly, you know, every step or, uh, you know, exactly every step that Esau is going to take or not, AD, the prophecy is coming to pass, man. And we can see that, uh uh, clear as day, man. You know, y'all you, brothers got it. Kind of got anything? Lock. 
Okay, so uh, I'm going to continue reading on in the Georgia Guideline uh, description area of this Wikipedia. This is uh, principle number uh, two, guide reproduction wisely, improving fitness and diversity. So what does that mean? They want to be in control of your, your rod and your, your sperm, man, your right. seed. They want to be in control of who you put your seed in. Yeah. It says, God, this is, they wrote this. Mm -hmm. We didn't, we did not erect this monument with these statues on. If I can say, like, um, I think Rock is, uh, I think a rock was uh, with the main brothers when Apostle Ron Rob and uh, Heads of Our Camp went to the uh, Georgia Godstones. Mm -hmm. So called constructed it was this guy called R.C. Christian or something, something to that nature. Um, I probably chopped the name up, but. It's all, this is all the plans of the elites. They they put a name to make it look like it was just some guy who constructed this. No, nah, man, this this is the plan um, of the elites, man. And people just go there like it's just some poorest guy. No, this is really a plan that they have to re to reduce the population for their so called so called new world order. Yeah, you're starting to see that now on these Georgia Godstones, what they're doing with this coronavirus, man. Hey, if I could just add real quick too. Because we brothers always mention it's funny, you know, that this whole, you know, coronavirus thing and, you know, the uh, quarantine happened the year that they're doing the census, you know, so they can keep track of these people, man. You know, mm -hmm. and, and what the uh, pe the people is basically getting led straight to the slaughter, man. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Quick precept. Mm -hmm. This is our Revelation chapter six, verse four. And there went out a horse that was red. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. And back uh, where Isaac was given the blessings, uh, Esau was given the sword, and he's used that sword to take peace from the earth, man. And the God, uh, Georgia Godstones is just another example of how he plans on doing so. All right, he. Um, uh, this guy, man, he's so uh, crafty. When it speaks about sword, it's just not, you know, a blade or a gun. Now he has pestilence he puts out, man. Mm -hmm. He controls uh, different things in the economy to keep the uh, the poor poor and make the rich richer. You know, he mm -hmm. has all type of things, man, um, that he's weaponized and used against. Uh, the masses of the people in order to hoard uh, his riches and, and push his ideology on the masses. That's right. Yep. I got a precept from the comic board from the uh, brother Vessel. Uh, the second Thessalonians 2 and 4 who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God showing himself that he is a God. And that's right, man. Esau has this God-like complex, but the scripture saying with Daniel 4 and 17, he's the basis of man. So the Lord raised all up to rule over us for a punishment, but it's gone too far in his head, man. This nigga thinks that he's going to overtake the world. And I got another one from the brother Yakinon from Memphis. Shalom, Mike. Shalom, Mike. Shalom, Mike. Shalom, 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 Shalom. This is uh, Job 20 yeah. He is about to fill his belly. The Most High shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him, up, up, rain upon him while he is eating. So when he thinks he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna get busy, man. He's he's gonna uh, get busy on Jake. You know, he's gonna get busy amongst the population. So when he thinks he's gonna, you know, like, like the movie, uh, the movie with Thanos, that's what he thinks he's gonna do. He thinks he's gonna reduce the population and he's gonna sit there and be like. You know, this is a good day. I killed. No, man, the Most High is going to intervene by sending his son Yahweh's tribe, man. And that's why they got Space Force for, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also the uh, the elders, uh, Ariala and Rikari Kwong, uh from Dallas um, and London went into how they're using these satellites, too, to increase their 5G production. Oh, yeah. So, that's another reason why they're shooting these uh these satellites. Yeah, that's why that's why the scriptures tell us to uh not be ignorant and saying devices. Mm -hmm. You know, because this, this stuff is just not out here for no reason, man. It's all a part of uh Esau's plan. 
you know? Mm -hmm. Am I got anything? Uh, yeah, I, I got something if ain't nobody have nothing. Are you great? God, this is uh Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he know he knoweth that he have but a short time. You know, so he saw his plan and he's about to come full force with his plan, man. Because he see the end of his rulership, man. You know, he's he's the the, the dollar is uh, no longer worth anything. You know, uh, he, he he see that he does it doesn't have the same power as he did before. So he's coming down with his plan, man. Which mm -hmm. is what uh, uh, like the brothers is going into it, the Georgia Guidestones. You know, is uh, uh, bring the population down, man. You know, and it's gonna be through the chip too. You know. Yep. Kind. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna keep going into uh, mm -hmm. more about the Georgia Guidestone. This is uh, point three. It says unite humanity with the living new language. That, that living new language is slavery and submission to Esau Edom, New World Order agenda, man. That's the language you're talking about. And that's why I said we're going into this really because this is all this is all BS, man. These are things in which, you know, we're not the only ones who know about the Georgia Guidestones. You know what I'm saying? Like like I said, and then also what? It's written in eight different languages. So this is a international worldwide thing, movement of these, you know, connected people. Who are actually collectively using their energy to move in in this direction? Share your screen. No, then you got to share it because it was kind of blurry. All right. Uh, point four. It says, it says, rule, rule, passion, faith, tradition, and all things with temper and reason. How are you gonna rule passion and faith and tradition? That's What's wrong with this guy? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's why I said we're gonna go, we're gonna go in this definition, man, because it don't make any sense. Right. We're gonna rule passion, faith, and tradition in all things with temperate reasons. So they want to just eliminate spirituality in essence. They want to eliminate spirituality and they want to pump passion and faith and tradition that's BS because everything that they establish is all uh, uh deception and lies. I mean exactly. I'm gonna get a quote from the bishop he put in the group text. This is from David Rockefeller, the so-called devil that died two years ago. It says, we are on the verge of a global transformation. All we need is the right major crisis and the nations will accept the new world order. This is from David Rockefeller at the United Nations Business Conference, September 14th, 1994. And this is the right time for these devils to get it in with this coronavirus, man, because these people are shook, man. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, continuing on, it says point five, protect people and nations with fair laws and just courts. Now, when in, in America, in Babylon, has it ever been fair law or just courts for Jake? Yeah, I haven't been, man. Yeah. Name one time. <laughs> you still got Jake getting out from, from 30 years ago from a uh, misdemeanor. You still and got Jake getting out of jail nowadays, man. <laughs> And from stuff in which they were set up to be pretty much the fall person for exactly. that community and that crime that they didn't commit. And yeah, uh, um, dude, dude serving 30 to life for drug charge that Esau put in the neighborhood, right? Exactly. The Esau, Esau, Esau dropped the uh bag of crack and said to hit the Jake, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> devil, man. Esau, man, Jake is talking about that ain't mine, that ain't mine. Well, you had. Uh, 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 the the top A from Richard Nixon that said the war on drugs against blacks and hippies, man. So uh, you add one and one together, man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, continuing on point seven, it says, and how you going how you gonna mix all this stuff into the population down to five hundred million? You know how much work and energy it would take to depopulate the earth to five hundred million? Just to count the people alone, to count to count. Why would you people piss a long time? Right. Hey, that's why that's why Lord said, said he just gonna step in. Right. Because Esau got this, this weird ass plan. And Lord just was like, hold on, man. This it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, that's when the second edge of six and nine gonna come into play, man. Oh, you can grab it. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I... Oh, so you can grab it. Oh, kind of, I'll grab it. I'm here. Uh -huh. 
Uh, this is the second Ezra chapter six and verse nine. <clears throat> so like it. Uh, it says, it says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's what it, Esau's, you know, rulership, you know, when it ends, that's when the, the, the true rulership, you know, is going to take place. Hey, pursuing what? Surround the 10th chapter, man. That's you know, right. about the, the Lord is going to, roughly paraphrase, the Lord is going to give uh, the earth to, to one who is um, profitable. Yeah, profitable, man. Mm -hmm. Which is who? Uh, the Israelites, man. You know, mm -hmm. start with Yahweh while Yahweh shot on yeah. down, man. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you got anything? Nah. Okay, so continuing on, point seven. It says, avoid petty laws and useless officials. It was, they're the most useless officials, man. Esau, <laughs> the senators and congressmen, mm -hmm. And the Supreme Court justices, and the head of HUD, and the head of FEMA, and the head of all these government organizations, they are the most useless of officials. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's just hilarious. It's hilarious at the end of the day to hear that this devil, that the Most High Yahweh Shah, let's look at that in Daniel, man. The Most High Ring of the uh, Kingdom of Men, or oh, Daniel 4 17. Mm -hmm. It's, um, it's, it's just really hilarious to think that the most high Yahweh has actually convinced Esau and Edom in their own mind that not only can they accomplish this matter, but they are not the actual people who they're writing their own case against. <laughs> <laughs> they are the ones creating and writing petty laws, and they are the youthless officials, but they chose to write this in their own manifesto of what they're going to do on the earth. Right. That, a quick precept before you grab that, bro. You got it. Go ahead. Uh, Obadiah, verse 3, the pride of thine heart have deceived thee. Mm -hmm. You got to be deceived, bro, to think that you can put all of these things in the work and the Lord not intervene. This shit don't even make sense, man. Esau is a big goddamn weirdo. Right, right. And that's all due to his pride. You know, he's going to fight to the very end to establish this weak-ass new world order, man. Right. Esau is, uh, the big, Esau is the big dummy. Yeah, he's a big dummy. <laughs> hey, man, let me speak about big dummy. Let's speak about this Georgia governor, man. Who, who, oh, hey, my bro. God. Hey, <laughs> let me all bro speak on him, man. <laughs> what this nigga been for the last three months? Right. He I, said I, he I'm, didn't know that the coronavirus could be transmitted through asymptomatic uh, people. He just found that out 24 hours ago. Like, nigga, what the fuck you been? I need it. Esau, man, Esau at home. Esau at home not doing his at-home courses, man. <laughs> he ain't doing his at-home home courses, man. Esau need to get up. He needs to get up on the game, man. The exactly. minute the Lord, the minute the Lord, like, I heard it harder than ever, man. God. Read that, bro. Was that, was that interrupted uh, anymore? Nah, 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 nah. Okay. Uh, Obadiah, uh, verse 3, it says, The pride of thy heart has deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that self in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? A, <laughs> verse 4, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, i.e., the uh space force mm. then will I bring thee down to the Lord Yahweh. Hey, it's gonna be a, a major intervention, man. Mm. You know how you, you brothers ever seen that show on A and E intervention? Mm. Yeah, they get everybody in the room, uh-huh, <laughs> and then the Esau walked through the door and he got a, he he got a major intervention that he never thought he was running <laughs> into. He thought he was finna go get his next high, right. <laughs> Next thing you know, uh, he he checking in the rehab. Goddamn, right. that's how it's gonna be when the Lord step in, man. He got to stop this guy. Yeah. All right, this is uh, Daniel four and seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the and the demand by the word of the holy one, to the intent that the living may know that the Most High Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai ruler. In the kingdom of men, see that to, to the intent or the purpose that the living should know that the living that those who have the breath and life 
and inspiration and understanding given to us by your how about you now john and the holy spirit that we should know this thing to be a fact man go ahead mm -hmm. continue on continue on it says and give it to whomsoever he will oh he doesn't give you all right it's daniel 4 and 17. this matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by, by the decree of the watchers, by the decree of the seers, and really the, the servants and the prophets of Yahweh by Shem by right. that. Go ahead. And the demand by the word of the holy ones. And the demand by the word of the holy ones, man. Okay, the gifts, these words, like I said, that we have a test, the, the testimony and the ability to bring out a particular level of edification and to blow the trumpet and be a warning to our people. That's what we do. That's what we're commanded and we're called to do. We do the same word that gives us our blueprint and how we live our life and conduct from day to day. Go ahead. Right. It says, to the intent that the living may know. To the intent that the living may know. All right. Yeah. 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 That the most high rules from the kingdom of men. That the heavenly father, how about you? God rules in the kingdom of men. So even with all these kingdoms, because even with this, you got the elites, the American elites of Esau, Enos. Okay, who are jockeying and fighting for a position? Okay, to uh, to be to be the champions. All right, to wear that championship belt of victory, to to place their American flag or the one world order flag on top of a, the new kingdom rising from the ashes. That shit ain't gonna happen, man. <laughs> yeah, that's why these yeah. Atlanta they got that Phoenix statue because they think it's gonna rise from the ashes of World War Three. And you know, establish a, 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 a the new world order, right? It ain't gonna happen, Jack. Got anything else on that? Was it? Yeah. Uh, let me, let me finish up. It says, To the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will and set him up over the basis of men. So, y'all just hold the king for a high second. This high second that y'all been able to hold this power and hold this scepter. And to rule and to and have the, the fatness of the earth and control the people and spread your wickedness and destroy the the earth and the world and the most high Yahweh Shemuel's creation. It's gonna you're not even gonna remember. It's gonna be like a a a, 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 a fighting thought in the kingdom of heaven, man. Because as soon as you begin to have that thought of this little shit, we're gonna bust you right outside your head. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, brothers, anything? Uh, yeah, I got something. You read kind of this Proverbs chapter 12. I'll start at verse 5. It says, The thoughts of the righteous are right, but the counsels of the wicked are deceit. The words mm -hmm. of the wicked are to lie and wait for blood, but the mouth of them up, up but the mouth of the upright shall deliver them. The wicked are overthrown and are not. But the house of the righteous shall stand, you know. So, like uh, the brother, uh, the officer you died was going into, man. Hey, whatever you know, Esau's plan or whatever he's thinking, you know, it's gonna come to naught, man. Why? Because the Lord said so, man. You know, it's it's, it's time for you know righteousness, you know, to rule uh, the earth, man. Mm -hmm. You know, even with you know the the direction that you're trying to go into, you know, with this whole new world order thing and the chip, it's it's wicked, man. You got robots doing, you know, all the work. You know, the people, you know, got a, 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 a has a, a chip, you know, inside of their body. You know, it's just weak. It's just all out wickedness, man. It's time mm -hmm. for you know the Lord saying that, 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 hey man, hey, he's putting his foot down. It's like that's it, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's why in the kingdom, hey, you gonna be doing hard labor work, man. You ain't gonna have to have no chip to do no work, man. You gonna go, you gonna walk to that rock, you gonna pick that rock up, man. You know, and, and and it's simple, man. You know, he's all trying to be complicated and, and deceitful, man. You know, kind of a rock you got anything? Lie. Uh, I'm not gonna get that uh precept from the board, but for sure. I put it in the uh, this is this one. Oh, yeah, uh, mm -hmm. all right. This is the uh, GMS Memphis Yakanon. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 8. Mm -hmm. the righteous dealings. Injuries and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another, and that's exactly what's uh, uh, happening. That's exactly that. This precept lines 
aligns perfectly with uh, with written in James the fifth chapter, man. Going mm -hmm. to the rich, the rich man uh, howling and weeping because his treasure his treasures are uh, uh, being found to be uh, faulty treasures, man. They're uh, the, the, the shitty consolation prizes of your people being in rulership. It's the dregs of the kingdom, and it ain't even the good dregs because you ain't even taste nothing that wine. Mm, right. That's all right, but um, this is Isaiah um, chapter 60. Uh, I'm sorry, verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls. Now, this stranger is talking about the uh, the heathens. And the sons of thy strangers shall build up thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. And that word minister, uh, I believe the Hebrew word is seraph, which means to serve. Unto thee, in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Verse 11, therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto the, Swaki, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles and that their king may be brought. And that forces means their wealth, man. So everything that they took from us, these niggas gonna bring it back to us, man, okay? Mm -hmm. Verse 12, it says, for the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. All right. And that's what it's going to be for you other nations, man. If you don't serve us, that's your ass, man. Pursuant to Revelation 2 and 26 and 27, man, we're going to rule over you with a rod of iron, man. Mm -hmm. And right? that's going to be literal rod of iron, man. So, you know, like, like you mentioned, man, he thinks he's about to uh, bring about his new world order, man. He's going to be sadly mistaken, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then he's going to be sadly mistaken, and then he's going to wake up from that dream with a rod of iron squarely against his cranium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're hey, gonna... I... what's up? Hey, I was just looking at this uh <clears throat> this article uh that Abu put in the group chat what's that? about uh. It was about basically landlords and, and rent offices demanding they rent. <laughs> All right. And and what's the title of the lesson, man? The homeless and the coronavirus. Once these people are put out or evicted, because they're under the uh the false notion that you know they can't be evicted. But mm -hmm. I was reading an article the other day, that's only for those on housing assistance. Mm -hmm. All right. If you just straight out paying your rent every day, you're still subject to those payments. That goes to show you how wicked this rulership is, man. That's right. You know, here it is. You've collapsed the economy. You've put this disease out here, and you still how how do you expect somebody to pay something that they don't have? Exactly. Unemployment rate is through the roof. You know what I'm saying? So you still expect people to make these uh certain payments. That's gonna add to the homeless population, man. And you're gonna further expose those people to the elements in which mm -hmm. you see is harmful to them. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna see more people living in their cars, man, as as the years go by, man. Like the um uh what is that Edomite man? We seen this thing, man. Uh how how it shall end or something like that when the Edomite was telling the story of the the the, the well to do upper well class Edomite family that was taking these expensive piano lessons. They live in a nice house. But as time went by, they kept they kept gradually getting stripped of everything. Then all of a sudden this well-to-do Edomite, he was living in the uh, back of his car, and he shot himself because everybody else died, man. So that's what it's, that's what it's coming to for uh, so-called white America, man. You're going to have a lot of folks out here that had these $100,000, $200,000 jobs, and all of a sudden, they're going to go back to being the base of the earth, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we're going to be eating, man. Like it says right here, uh, the 65th chapter, man, or, or the servant your uh, servant shall eat, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go, I'm going to jump back to this article. Can I share my screen again? It might be blurry, but I just want to see how, how, how it turns out. It's good enough. So, um, this is um, continuing on with Brothers in the Spirit had us jump right back to this homeless population crisis, man. So, continuing in the original article that we started with from Popular Science, it says, getting everyone indoors is a key first step. Researchers say, as that would prevent potential contact with people who might be infected with the virus. The report estimates that the total cost of get, getting everyone indoors would be $11.5 billion annually. 
See, now this is where you gotta call Esau Esau out on the bullshit, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he, you know, and if you read this article, if you just read these two sentences, right? The report estimates that the total cost of getting everyone indoors would be eleven point five billion dollars annually. That sounds like a lot of money, right? But this nigga Esau just dropped two point two trillion. trillion. <laughs> <laughs> the guy from uh, Come on, man. Trillion, trillion dollars, bro. <laughs> Esau just dropped two point two trillion dollars into the U.S. American economy. God. They could very easily pay to build shelter for all the homeless. That would be a drop in this bucket, man. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? But they're going to the He's lies. They're going to the lies of Esau Edom. Because hey. Esau Edom was really about this. His, his, own, his own agenda is working against them. That's why this is hilarious. Because if Esau Eden was really about the, the, the life and work of the gods, other than like the depopulation, the other things, the principles, so to speak, of the Georgia Guidestones, he would just pay the, the ten billion dollars and go ahead and put these the homeless people up. Right? Hey, I was I was saying some I forget what percentage they said, but it was it was a certain it was a small percentage of uh of uh Jeff Bezos uh like income. If he given out into like the uh uh America. He it was just like a, I think it was like not even one percent of his income, mm. and uh, basically just give it out to the, the people in need. He'll still be a billionaire, and right. America won't be. And when you have no homeless people, man, and think you know, about so it, just one person. And think about it, Esau unrighteous decrees. Jeff Bezos got divorced. His wife they filed filed for a divorce. She got half of his shit. Right. She got. He got all this money. According to the scriptures, if a man and woman go their separate ways, they won't supposed to leave with nothing. nothing. Right. <laughs> so if she left with nothing, this crisis hit, you know, the government and the king, you know, DJ Trump went to, you know, Jeff, like, hey, JB, let me just hold, let's just hold a little something. Right. You yeah. know, cut the bill. <laughs> everything, everything good and gravy, man. But that's not, that's not how it is, man. It's all, they're going to eat all Edom's lies, robberies, and deceits, man. Ecclesiastic is the 10th chapter, man. Is he be, mm -hmm. he saw me blowing smoke up your ass, man. Right. Yeah, exactly. and his people and be believing it. Yeah. Hey, and I was going to say, Salaki, bro, uh, it, it also goes back into that James, uh, the fifth chapter that we just tied into. This guy mm -hmm. heaping all this silver and gold, mm -hmm. fucking hoarder, when, if he was really about the people, um, he would disperse it amongst you know everybody, and have his kingdom well set, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that money that he puts out to the people, it'll automatically come back if everybody is in a good estate. Absolutely, you won't have to worry about pumping a two trillion fucking dollars into the economy if everybody had a set amount of money that they sitting on for emergency times, man. Exactly. And then you you even had in which um. You know, a lot of times Esau makes he, he frames his laws and legislations off of biblical um, uh, biblical principles, but then he just contorts it in a way that benefits him. Like even like uh, you're supposed to have like periodic, I believe every seven years, you're supposed to have periodic just years of forgiveness. This supposed mm -hmm. to have years to leave. I believe exactly. like fifty years. Yeah. See, and, and Esau basing like his uh, his uh, bankruptcy. Uh, laws, you know, they stick on your on your report. They say for like seven to ten years. Yeah, that's, that's based off the, off the script. You know what I'm saying? But he's also agreed that he don't want to do that. Every like even with the land side, instead of just uh, uh, adhering to the land side and growing your crops and produce according to the scriptures, he just want to just grab some land and just maximize production on that and just burn the land. Yeah. So just like with every fifty year jubilee, you're supposed to forgive all debt. He uh -huh. doesn't do that because he has to, he actually has to release the people. He never wants to release control now that uh, the power was put in the course of his hand. Mm -hmm. But now he's mm -hmm. to snatch the control right out of his hand and he, like it was uh, written in the book of Job, goes to fill his belly. Do you mind anything? Uh, no, I know. Uh, all right, finishing up, we're going back to the Georgia Godstones. This is point number eight. Balance personal rights with social duties. <laughs> Balance personal rights. If Esau stripping the, his the citizens of the personal rights and those social duties, according to Esau Edom's um, 
doctrine and world order is you being a complete and utter slave, accepting the rations and whatever he gives you, and continuing to maintain him in power and rulership. That was number eight. Yep. Can you go back to number seven, right there? Uh, point number seven from Georgia Godstone it says, avoid petty laws and useless officials. No, we know um, before he's trying to establish this so called new world order, there's going to be a lot of summary execution on the streets, man. Mm -hmm. The judge and the jury out in the streets, man. There ain't going to be no, uh, I didn't know. It's going to come to a point where, you know, Jake is out here. They're not going to be obeying these curfews. All right. Because Jake don't give a damn. All right. We live here in Atlanta, man. Jake, from the east side to the west side to the south side, Jake don't care. But Esau's going to have to apply that pressure where he's going to have to use summary execution, just like uh, old boy uh, Duterte over in the Philippines. He said, shoot him dead. Yes, yeah. that's the yeah. execution, man. So they're gonna avoid petty laws and officials, okay, by summary execution, man. But they're not gonna achieve the new world order. But you're gonna see some of that happen before you know the Lord comes back through summary execution. They're gonna do that because it's gonna be way cheaper to put a bullet through you niggas' heads versus the feed off crusty asses. That's right. There it is. Okay. Uh, Going back to uh, George Godstone point of principles, uh, point number, principle number eight, balance personal rights with social duties and you ready over that. Point number nine, why Esau's a devil, man. Esau is a crafty devil, man. It says, prize truth. I ain't share my screen, share my screen. I gotta, uh, let me go back to it. Oh, my bad, I have to stop it. Okay. Um, Point number, it's, it's all good. It says point number nine. It says Christ, truth, beauty, love, seeking harmony with the infinite. What the fuck does that mean, man? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> just, just, just from the jump, just from Christ, truth, you know the rest is complete bullshit. <laughs> which Esau don't that his only value of truth is him knowing it so he can contort it and twist it to you to lie and make it benefit yeah. him and, knows and manipulate and, man and cast you know their darkness amongst the people that's why the American population is so simple and dumb that's right mm -hmm. it says prize beauty love which Esau don't love nothing man and he and he destroys everything that's beautiful he don't even love his own people. Like we mentioned from the beginning, you got a lot of homeless Edomites, man. He don't give a damn about these. Uh, right. He could have been a war veteran. You could have been some dude, some Edomite that was serving the uh, Vietnam War or the war in Iraq or the war in Afghanistan. He don't give a damn, man. Right. He don't give a damn about these people, man. <laughs> I got a definition for infinite. It means eternal or limit, limitless. Now, we know Esau's not going to be here eternally, man. Right. All right. So this, this nigga is just really got a, a godlike complex that think he's gonna be around here forever, man. And right. He's, he's not. And that infinite, it says he's seeking harmony with the infinite. That infinite is seeking, man. That's that. That what's the what's the most infinite left-handed power? Thing. Mm -hmm. But they they trying to think even like they even think we're gonna find a way mm -hmm. to never die, like in the flesh. Hey, motherfucker, you bound to the flesh. The flesh is going to always die, you dumb. Right. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's just dumb to think. You're going to always live in the flesh. It only makes sense. The flesh yeah. is bound. Your spirit is bound to your flesh 120 years. Exactly. But they think they're going to be able to either continuously put other people's organs in their body mm -hmm. to keep their body going or become some form or essence of cyborg in order to fuse man and machine or put their consciousness into some machine to then put it in another body so they can yeah they actually think this type of stuff yeah right? yeah they think that they're the most high that's what the scripture say you know they, they think they they that they are god man you know little do they know and they're gonna be in the kingdom of heaven in them in them same old wrinkled up <laughs> broken bones in them same bodies man that's right. right. You know, doing hard labor, man. Surround, surrounded with men and people of spiritual power. Yeah, whooping and, your uh, ass. <laughs> whooping that ass, man. Busting that, busting that cranium to the white men shows. <laughs> right. And then going into point in principle 10, be not a cancer. This is what you saw the devil, man. 
He's all right. Be, be not a cancer on the earth. Leave room for nature. Leave room for nature. He's such a devil. He wrote it twice. <laughs> this, man tried to, this man said, be not a cancer on the earth. Like, bro, right. it's a little bit too late for that, man. You saw is the cancer of the earth, man. He was yeah. the cancer yeah, of the man. earth, man. <laughs> Hey, if he don't do that, he, that he might well commit suicide. Then he'll solve <laughs> that with you. He can right. scratch that off the list, goddamn. But that's actually what they're gonna do. The eat them, they, uh, these eat them might begin with uh, these Russians. They gonna link up with these more bikes, these Chinese. Mm -hmm. they, they're gonna realize how much that they uh, they hate this whore. They're gonna mm -hmm. get to turn turn the American allies, the uh, the the UKs, the Great Britons, the Indias, the Canadas. To, to a certain extent, even though Trump be talking cash shit about him and is hell bent on doing this wall, which he ain't built. Just that was did. Trump. That was Trump main calling card in the, uh, uh, his uh, uh, run to uh, being nominated. Build that wall. Build <laughs> that wall. <laughs> yeah, was so stupid. They would actually build a wall because of this coronavirus. Now, well, you know, we don't want those Mexicans coming up here because you know they got coronavirus. You yeah, haven't seen that many instances of coronavirus in Mexico. Man. Yeah, right. You know, they they still they still down there playing uh, uh Liga MX soccer and all, all that stuff down there, man. But these yeah. dumb ass Edomites and these two thirds who vote for Trump, like what's the two nigga woman that vote for uh Trump, uh, Silk and Diamond, whatever yeah. their name is? Through, through. They'll they'll be the same ones that be like, yeah, we need to build that wall, man. You know, mm -hmm. that, that goes to the, the the pride and the arrogancy of uh, Babylonians, man. That's because they loud. And they can eat shrimp mm -hmm. and bacon and pig's feet <laughs> <laughs> and you know, Esau just allowed them to be brute beasts and they time in America, man. That's why they love Trump. That's why they love their daddy Trump. Yeah, yeah. Their daddy Push Trump is gonna allow his troops and his goons, my goons, are gonna run and clean the streets of America, and clean the streets of America includes. Them busting the, the skull caps and skull cavities of people and niggas like that. Mm -hmm. I got something right yeah. Come on. Go ahead. Psalms 8 and 25. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. So, how the hell are you going to try to we'll go back to that one? Be not a cancer on the earth. The whole earth is out of course, man. You got animals beaching themselves, you got trash. In the Pacific Ocean, the Pacific Ocean that's twice the size of Texas. You got chemtrails being sprayed around you every day. They can't, they don't know what to do with the trash. They they send the trash from New York City down here in the south or different places in the earth. The whole earth is out of course, man. The whole nation, the, the, the geese and the birds, they're supposed to fly south, but they're flying east and west now, man. So the whole earth is out of course, man. This whole earth needs to be cleansed. By thermal nuclear fire, man, and this place needs to be a memorial to serve for the children of Israel that we serve bondage here. And this is what happens, okay, to the uh, enemies of uh, Yasha Allah, man. See, that's the beautiful thing. The whole earth is going to be get get that in uh, Ecclesiastes first chapter. Oh yeah, the whole earth is going to be clean, burned and clean. It's going to be primarily the lands of America. Now there yeah. are other uh, places of destruction. You know what I'm saying? But the, the Heavenly Father, how about you know, God created such a, a vast, expansive earth and world that they can allow this whole, well, I think it's like 6,000 square feet roughly around, I believe. Mm -hmm. This whole land of America from sea to shining sea will be a lake of, fly, of fire. Yeah. 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 It's going to be a memorial. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. The Ecclesiastes 1 and 4. One generation, one generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but uh -huh. the earth abideth forever. See, and that's what's moving forward in this course of action, man, in which there is a generation that will be planted on earth that will be that generation that the seed of salvation is placed in, man. That's right. In which they're gonna actually be able to bring some fruit back to your house by your house with child. Those are two things that continue to uh, go on and on and with. Those seeds that will be placed in the earth are going to be able to have their state of incubation and be able to grow and foster. 
and grow and, and be a shade, you know, to the people, you know, to speak in, uh, you know, in the spiritual sense. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, the earth abided forever. So even though your house might be on a there's a lot of pain and destruction and death and a lot of these things, these evils and plagues to the earth, there's still a large portion of the earth is going to be preserved and be the home base, so to speak, for the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, hey, if I could ask you a point real quick, because we always mention how Esau haven't discovered the, the whole earth yet. You know, it's places where you know uh the Lord has preserved, you know, just until he uh until he comes, man. You know, so Esau think that you know, whatever you know, plan that they have, you know, the Lord got it to where you hey, well, you can only go but so high in, in you know in the space, and you can only go so uh deep, you know, in the seas, man. Mm-hmm. You no, know? I got a, I got a quick one. Come on, go ahead and bring it out, bro. It's uh, Sirach 10 and 3. An unwise uh, king destroys his people, mm-hmm. but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Verse 4 The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time, he will mm-hmm. set over it one that is profitable. Mm-hmm. Hey, and who's that, man? The nation of Israel. We're the ones that are uh, that are, are profitable, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei and that's that that verse right there is uh, that uh, kingdom being translated from one to a, up to another, man. Mm-hmm. You know, as Esau getting the hell out of the way mm-hmm. and letting the rightful uh, the rightful the rightful uh, owners, you know, take over, man, which, are, right. which is the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. right. As long as this guy, we brought it out earlier, Proverbs uh, 29 and 2, um, that when the uh, the wicked is in authority, the people mourn because yep. he's an unwise king, man. He destroys his people. Mm-hmm. That's why That's he's right. doing the things that he's doing, trying to depopulate and push this weird ass new world order. Come, come, hey, hey, spot on, bro. Spot on. So I'm just gonna read the rest of this article and then we can grab any closing precepts and close out. So um where's that? You back on? Okay, kind of. So this is um continuing on that article from uh popular science.com. Uh, it says this is speaking about that 11.5 billion dollars in which Esau has the money to show to the, the, the poor and homeless, but he's just too selfish to dish it out and put it towards him. It says that money is urgently needed, the author, the author's note as it will significantly lower the national public health burden and make a huge difference to people experiencing homelessness. Folks experiencing homelessness are an incredibly vulnerable population, says Tyrone uh, Byrne, a professor in the Department of Social Welfare Policy at Boston University. From a humanitarian and moral perspective, there's a real urgent need there. It Uh, says- uh, So like, if I could just say real quick, you know, they put it out to where um, they basically will be testing people, you know, with those uh, with the lesser st- strand of the uh, coronavirus. And they, was, they said they will give them a certain amount of money. Who you who you think were those people who, who uh, went to uh, get tested? The homeless, mm-hmm. man. Because mm-hmm. they're in need. Yeah. Kind. Kind. Uh, continuing on, finish up the article, it says, this is the last paragraph. It says people experience. Actually, I think it's two paragraphs. Yeah, I'm yeah, two. two. Yeah, yeah, two more paragraphs. It says, "Matt, I'm gonna share my screen with you, Slocky, because it's pretty important." Hey, shout out one too to uh, uh, all your brothers on the comment board, man. The water for uh, you know checking the stream out, and the water too for your uh, precepts and encouragement on the comment board, man. It's it all it all counts and builds towards the ministry. Um, this right here, seen on an article, it says people experiencing homelessness can't self-isolate to avoid catching or transmitting the virus, in which we spoke about earlier, how these homeless populations are more susceptible and they catch the virus easy because they have no shelter, man. They have to, they're out here in the elements and they're forced to interact. Like it says here, they can't self-isolate. It says, which means it could spread through their communities quickly. Beyond that, and they huddle up to actually, you know, gain resources and actually be around. You know, people are sociable, man. It's not natural to just be by yourself for an extended period of time and, you know, not interact. It mm-hmm. said, beyond that, they are more likely to be experiencing other chronic health issues 
that would make them more vulnerable to the virus. As a result, I would be very worried about someone who's 50 and homeless in the same way I might be worried about somebody who's 70 in the general population, says UCSF professor of medicine, Margaret Cushel. It says, and this is very important, man, this is a major takeaway that uh, well, well, we can deliver uh, with, with this uh, lesson. It says, since black and indigenous Americans are significant, well, that's what, that's Jake. Mm -hmm. It says, since black and indigenous Americans are significantly overrepresented in the population of homeless people, the vulnerability of people experiencing homelessness also means that racialized Americans are also going to be disproportionately compact, impacted by COVID-19, she says. That's the Esau way of saying this virus is projected to kill a lot of you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans. That's right. Yeah. Because black people, oh, we can't get the coronavirus. All right. Yes, man. Right. Hey, and that's 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 the ignorance of our people, man. Here it is. Uh, studies show that people with underlying health issues are most more, su more susceptible to getting it. And who who has the most fucking issues, man? Negroes, exactly. Latinos, and Native Americans because they have poor diets. Yeah, and they just don't give a damn, man. They in their YOLO spirit. And so their immune system is got them little to none. Nothing. Yeah. Hey, the ignorance, the ignorance of our people thought that having melanin would stop them from catching a virus, man. Right. And then you, you got our people that's wearing uh, going around the city around the neighborhood with an N95 mask <laughs> on, but they still smoking a new Newport 100 in the box. Oh, Middleton, Black and Mild. That increases your chances of getting it stupid. You know, our people, our people don't consider their ways, man. Our people still walking around in N95 masks, and still eating Burger King and Taco Bell and McDonald's, man. Still going to the uh, store and getting uh, pork, uh, pork tenderloins, man. Our people don't consider their ways, man. You mm -hmm. got anything real quick? Uh, uh, nah, the spirit move I had. Okay, come get this last uh, little bit real quick on one second. Just want to show the brothers on the comment board, man. And then I'm gonna get my uh I'm gonna share my screen one more time, we're gonna wrap it up. So uh just to finish out, we're gonna finish out uh where we where we were earlier in the book of second Ezra chapter 15. We're going to start with verse 9. Second Ezra 15, verse 9. And therefore saith the Lord, I will truly avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. See, this goes to show you that Esau is killing out here, man. Yeah. Esau and his his practices and his processes to uh, enact this uh, so-called New York order is actually killing people. That's that's the principle number one on Georgia Guys man. Mm-hmm. Is to put people to death. Utilize his blessing, which is the sword. Uh, verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. So most of y'all by Shemina is telling you that his way of not suffering to dwell in this land of Egypt is to just let y'all go for the slaughter, man. Y'all want to serve y'all daddy Esau. Y'all want to be of your father the devil. You want to believe in him. And his plan and his uh, desire to chip you and make you a full time slave and to put you into his internet of things, y'all go ahead and uh, head in that direction, man. Yeah. Hey, woe well, to you who go down to Egypt for help, man. Right. right. Hey, just like the example, that's a beautiful point, officer, because uh, we've all seen the video of Jake inside the emergency room. He was in no. the emergency room. And then you wonder why they're trying to inject you with. Now you're under, you, you're under, the, you're under the guidance of the hospital now, man. Ain't no uh, consent forms that can save you from that, man. <laughs> so our people are going to these hospitals talking about some revolution. When you're going to the same oppressor who bought you on cargo slave ships, man, that don't make sense, man. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but I will bring them with a the mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. So these plagues that are coming to hit Egypt, that are hitting Egypt, coronavirus being the plague, man. Okay, now, like I said, we understand, we touched on it throughout the course of the lesson, we can't really put too much uh, 
uh, trust in the Esau even misinformation and the numbers that he's putting out. However, we do trust in the spirit of power. How about you know, God that this plague and the, the movement that has happened after the coronavirus hitting the earth and hitting America has uh, pushed us forward uh, uh, in a mighty way toward in the in the, in the uh, effort in the, the air direction of prophecy, man. That we're actually uh, that much closer to the return of our Lord uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, in the downfall and destruction of this land and this captivity known as America or Babylon the Great in the uh, Holy Scriptures. That's right. So, brother, got anything to close out on? Not. I, I just wanted to add. I was just looking up the death toll supposedly for the day. Hey, Esau is scaring these folks shitless, man. Over one thousand, supposedly thirteen hundred people died just today alone. Just in one day. Now it was it, over, it over five hundred right. uh, cases of uh, people who died in New York uh, over of, uh, over the night. Damn. See, hey, <clears throat> and um, we don't know how true the numbers are, but Esau is scaring the people shitless with these kind of numbers. Mm -hmm. Thirteen hundred in one day. I don't even recall seeing Italy and these other uh, nations like uh, Spain ever, you know, going over a uh, thousand and twelve or twelve hundred deaths in a day. Damn. So, hey, the homeless people, man, they probably have a big number to play a role to play in that number, man. Yeah, the homeless—they're gonna be some of the uh, the the first round draft picks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much, man. Hey, the homeless gonna be the first round draft picks of principal number one. <laughs> hey, but anybody, yeah. anybody have anything else to add before we close out? Allah. Wow. All right, kind of, kind of the watch. He about to uh, come into the lesson, man. So we're gonna close out. Um, before we close out, we're gonna give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, and Double iron so our apostles and elders, great millstone to lead, teaching real well. Love and iron so our occupation, very true faith, and see across the four corners until next time. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.